This year at ELTC, I'll be presenting about surgery in the immunotherapy era. And traditionally, there are three known operations for mesothelioma as defined by the ISLC. There's a big operation called extra pneumonectomy, a medium operation called pruractomy decortication, and a small operation called partial pruractomy. When I say big, medium, and small, I refer to the extent of surgical disease, not the magnitude of the patient, um, rather, rather the actual amount of tissue uh, intended for removal. The United Kingdom is the only country in the world that has undertaken a clinical trial in all three uh, groups of surgical resection. In 2011, uh, Tom Treasure and colleagues published on extra pneumonectomy, an operation which removes the lung, the lining of the lung, the diaphragm, and the lining of the heart. In addition, they have trimodality treatment. So you have chemotherapy and radiotherapy and demonstrated that there was no survival advantage. In fact, survival was worse with uh, extra pneumonectomy. And since then, around the world, you know, that study has received um, a degree of unfair criticism, but for, for better or for worse, the operation is hardly ever performed now around the world. There is a small operation called partial chorectomy, and that removes uh, a section of a portion of the tissue or disease to prevent fluid from reaccumulating. And Robert Rintoul and colleagues did the mesobatch trial in the UK, suggesting that there was no survival advantage either. So that leaves the whole world with just one operation left, which is called proactive decortication. That removes just the lining of the lung, the lining of the chest wall, the diaphragm if it's involved, and the lining of the heart if it's involved. That today is the standard of care for surgery for mesothelioma. The question is, where does this go in terms of the immuno-oncology era? Prior to the publication of Checkmate 743, there was no yardstick for surgery. We, as long as any benefit could be demonstrated, it could be considered as uh, an option for treatment. Checkmate 473 changed the whole landscape and scenario in that they reported a 24% improvement in survival above that of cis and permatrexate. I'm the chief investigator for MARS-2. It's a study that investigates surgery within the cisplatin permatrexate uh, chemotherapy regimen. Initially, we set out to define a 30% benefit for MARS-2, which fortunately falls really nicely in line with the 24% reported by Checkmate 743. If MARS-2 is a positive study, it puts surgery as an equal or better footing to immunotherapy in mesothelioma, and surgeons and all of us around the world, and patients will be uh, celebrated. On the other hand, if MARS-2 is negative, and negative meaning that it does not achieve a 30% improvement in survival, or maybe not at all, then that really reframes the role of surgery for mesothelioma. It is the last option available, the one that's all used to date, and if it does not beat immunotherapy, then the on uh, thoracic oncologists and mesothelioma experts around the world will really need to think long and hard if and where surgery fits in in the management of mesothelioma. So I think the, the MARSU study, despite having suffered through two waves of COVID pandemic, has successfully recruited and completed in November 2020, randomizing 335 uh, out of an intended 328 patient accrual. And the results will be available in two years. And that's where I see how uh, the immunotherapy era has framed the last remaining operation uh, for mesothelioma.